Hello, my friends. Welcome to Tiffany's Reading Club. I am Tiffany, and I am five years old. Today, I have a question for you. What if you had a dinosaur for a pet? What would it be like? Let's find out in this book, Dogosaurus Rex. It's written by Anna Sewixi, illustrated by Kevin Hawks. Ben couldn't wait to find the best dog in the world at the shelter, but there were cute dogs and funny dogs, and loud dogs and smelly dogs. None of them were quite right. Then Ben saw a large cage in the corner. She's perfect, he said. I'll call her Sadie. Roar! Said Sadie, wagging her tail. That dog sure has a strange bark. Said Ben's mom. Ben couldn't wait to show off his new pet. He used a garden hose for a leash. And walked Sadie around town. She's kind of funny looking," said the neighborhood kid. "Does she know any tricks?" "Sit, Sadie," Ben called. Sadie sat on top of a car. "Roll over, Sadie," Ben called. Sadie rolled over right through a fruit stand. Thanks,、oh. Sadie. Ben called. Sadie ran off and came back with a mail truck. I think it's best if you take your pet home," said a police officer. But when Ben brought Sadie home, she couldn't fit through the front door. We'll have to build her a doghouse," said Ben's mom. So Ben started building a tail. He built the biggest doghouse in town. Sadie seemed to like her new home. You're the best dog in the world, Ben said, rubbing her belly. He closed her eyes. Roar, she said. Next morning, Ben took Sadie out to do her business. She did lots of this, lots and lots of it. Clean up after your pet, a neighbor cried. Ben plugged his nose, grabbed a shovel, and got to work. But when it was time to give Sadie a bath, Ben gathered up all the soap in the house and took her to the lake. Sadie jumped into the water and drank it all up in one gulp. Don't come back! The lifeguard yelled. When they got home, Sadie's belly rumbled for dinner. Ben pulled out some dog food. Sadie ate the whole bag and all the rest of the food in the house. This dog sure is a lot of trouble," said Ben's mom. "We might be able to bring her back to the shelter." They hugged Sadie tight. He had to find a way to keep her. The next day, Ben walked Sadie through the town. Everyone avoided her, but then a shout rang from the fruit stand: "Stop, thief!" Ben knew just what to do. Sit, Sadie. He called. Sadie sat right in the robber's path, but the thief jumped into a mail truck and got away. Roll over, Sadie. Ben called. Sadie rolled over on the front of the robber's truck, but the thief ran into the farmer's field and got away. Fetch Sadie. Ben called. Sadie barreled after the robber. Ben had never seen her run so fast, and when she came back, she had the thief clutched in her teeth. Everyone in the town cheered. That's quite the pet you have there," said the police officer. "I think I might have a job for her." "So do I," said the farmer. Soon, Sadie was the most popular dog in town, and Ben knew he'd be able to keep her forever. "You're the best dog in the world," said Ben. 
Babbling Sadie's belly. Sadie closed her eyes. Roar, she said. The end. I hope you like this story. Thanks for watching. See you at my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.